I just have to admit that I was wrong. So previously, I did a video where I said that this is the worst time to do music. And looking over this situation, that perspective came from me judging the economy and the borderline recession that we're in. And just looking at how the music industry in itself is just failing. But that doesn't have anything to do with us. We're not seeing personal brands thrive. I just have to reflect over my career. I never had to really rely on any labels to make any money. I never really had to rely on the system or the music industry itself to be able to survive because I've always been in the music business and never had to rely on the music industry. And the way that I was looking at it is the way that everybody looks at it. We typically take our records, take our intellectual property, we put them on streaming sites, and then we try to blow up that way. But I've never done it that way. And I'm never going to do it that way. That only represents a portion of the revenue that comes in for me in the music business. And it's not even the main one. What we have to do is we have to be able to grow our personal brand so that we'll always be valuable. And what I've done in particular is I've always found a way for my intellectual property, my songs, my beats with hooks, everything that I've done, my collabs. I found a way to always make those things valuable. So who cares what happens to the music industry or what happens to the record labels, what happens to the streaming sites? We have to be able to understand what we need to do to be able to take our property, our gifts, our skill sets and turn those into ATMs at all times. This is why I have to partially retract my statement and say it's the worst time to do music. It's actually the best time, but it comes with a few precautions. If you are an artist that wants to do things in a traditional sense, like you want a traditional record deal, or you're trying to just take the traditional route, get funding from somebody else, have everybody else, you know, invest in your career, this is the worst time to do music. If you take the entrepreneurial approach to doing music and you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to market on social media, you're willing to network, you're willing to do all of these things to be able to grow your brand, you know, present your music, show your skill sets, even cross collaborate with other artists, singers and songwriters and rappers, then you will have a thriving business, especially if you're good and you work on your craft. What made me think about this is that a lot of my friends always call me and they say, Federo, you've been doing music over 10 years. Like, how have you been able to sustain in the music industry that's so volatile and you've always been able to thrive? Ever since we've known you, you've been doing music. But I just take an entrepreneurial approach. It's always been a business for me. It's always about me helping the artists or me helping people to connect and grow my brand to such a place that I'll always be relevant. And as long as you market yourself, you always be relevant. So now I can have those conversations with my friends and say, bro, every time that I've seen you, you've been doing music, there's been no slow down. Like I've seen you just consistently do it, but that's what it takes to make it in this environment, to be able to make it in this environment where people have very little money or they didn't have the same money that they had just a couple of years ago. You're just going to have to work on your brand. You're going to have to be able to just post on social media every day, post on YouTube, be able to put your music out there. Because the thing that stops a lot of musicians, a lot of songwriters, producers, is that they they want to hold back their best stuff. And one of the things that was that allowed me to elevate in such a way is that I've always put my best material out there. I'll record songs in front of people. If people get on my TikTok and my YouTube, go live often not trying to hide the process. I'm not just trying to sell the song. I'm trying to sell the sizzle as well. I'm trying to get in front of people to show them what I can do. And once that process is done of me creating the song, then I'm putting it out there because people get a chance to see, be a part of my journey. So we all as musicians, as songwriters, rappers, singers, whatever you do, it's up to us to build our community because that's what our fans are. Our fans are a part of our community. And if we're willing to you know, give to our fans and build communities and let them in on our process and let them in on our journey, then we can become successful musicians. The music industry as it stands is the old model where everybody else is, you know, because labels are now starting to outsource everything, you know, so that even they have switched to the same type of model that we should be using. As creators, we have to be able to adapt to the new environment. We have to be able to change and we have to set up our own success. The first thing that we have to do is we have to learn how to create our own products. Now, 
With me, that starts with recording. I set up a template and I created a template called the Federal Template. That's an easy drag and drop method to recording that will allow you to record quickly, allows you to get that sound. It already sounds mixed. So go and check that out. I'll put the link in the description. And as well, I'm starting a private membership. It's almost ready. It's going to give you guys access to me. It's going to give you access to all the information on how I was able to sustain a 10 plus year career and work with some of the biggest artists in the world, biggest people in the world. I'm going to show you all of the tips and tricks on how I did that. We're going to go over everything from recording to starting your business, to making money, to how to practice, to how much time it takes to get there. We're going to go over social media content strategy. We're going to go over everything. If that's something that you're interested in, it'll be in the description as well. But this is the new economy that we're in. You have to be a business owner. Your music is your business. Say that with me. My music is my business. So it has to be the most important thing to you. And even if you just don't want to make money in business, you still have to be able to make music self-sustain it. Because if you want to do it for fun, you want it at least for the music to pay for itself or either be able to do it so inexpensively that you have no problem just creating it because you understand how to do it. And I'm going to teach you those things. It's your boy Fidero. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that it's the best time to do music? Write your opinions in the comment section. Can't wait to talk to you all.